All right, this one's gonna be on Ultimate Plumber. Uh, a really cool program to see your Unix pipes interactively when you're using it. So if you're to write scripts, uh, you know, usually you'll try to type it out, you know, the commands in your terminal. So let's say, for example, we'll do something simple like ls, right? And then from there, we'll probably use like a grep. Let's say I wanna grep uh, some PNGs. I don't know the name of it yet. So I wanna narrow it down. I say, okay, I wanna look at that uh, PSX PNG only, right? So now we have one results instead of all these other results. And then I can go like uh, pipe it to uh, Zargs and we want to open with a GUI. So we do XDG open. Uh, I spell Zargs right? And you need an S here. So there you go. Right? Then it'll open it like this. Now, if you want to use it with this program, uh, which is just called up here for, you know, Ultimate Plumber. So I do LS. You can do uh, pipe. And you just pipe it to up here and then it'll be like this little interactive um i don't know uh like end curse interface but you see at the bottom here you have like different hotkeys you can do so if you hit Control x here it'll actually create a uh, a uh, script file once you're done if you do you know the standard Control c then it'll, it'll just exit you have like um what is that the uh, page up page down stuff like that if you have like the results is really long and you want to scroll up scroll down you can do that uh, you can pause here with this hotkey stuff like that if you want to do that but let's say for example i want to grep right let's say uh, what we did before we try to grep out pngs just so we can see the results here and then let's say we want to change that into um psx png right that's exactly what we did and then from there we can do uh you know zargs and then an XDG open, right? And then it works, right? That, right? And now if you hit Control X, it'll actually create a uh, script for you. So this one is just called up uh, seven sh here. So now if I do um, what is that? Up seven sh. What the hell is this one here? Uh, it will actually open that. You know. Um, oh no, it's actually missing the beginning. So you actually have to go in here up seven and we actually have to type in our ls here so just because that's what we did right but if you did that one here it should open that image uh you know with the same commands that we did so that's pretty much how it works uh i like it a lot it's just that uh you know when you're doing this there is no tap completion so that's uh <laughs> that's something they need to work on you know, when you type in like uh, your commands in your terminal, you can actually do uh, tab completion. But in this one, you can't do it. You can't do like grab, uh, you know, like tab here. You can't do tab, All right? What is that? Grab uh, PSX. And if I try to do like, uh, I don't know, awk or something like that, I can't do tab or anything like that either. So that's the one thing with the program. Now there's, um, which one did we do here? We did like this LS uh, piping up. But uh, they also have it on their GitHub page that you can actually use the, um, what was that, the ampersand sign in there next to that pipe, and it works the same way. I'm not sure what the difference is. I don't think you really need it, but they have that as their example, All right? So I'll include that. Another thing they have in here is that uh, if you type up dash H here, they'll have this uh, unsafe full throttle. I actually like this thing, but it is dangerous. Like any time you use this uh, command is dangerous because uh, if you're using like with uh, the RM command, the move DD or any type of, you know, stuff that will actually delete your files or really change your files, uh, you probably don't want to use it with this. All right. But uh, that being said, uh, I'm going to show you this unsafe full throttle here. Uh, it's really cool. So let's say, for example, I do uh, LS again. And we'll pipe it to up, but we're putting this flag here, all right? And what this one does is that uh, you don't actually need to be as press enter or anything like that. As you type it, it'll actually execute it. So it's kind of like a fuzzy finder type of execution. It'll just loop through, uh, you know, as you're typing it. So let's say if I type in grep, uh, what do I want to grep for? I want to grep for PNGs, right? You can see that when I'm typing it, it'll actually, you know, filter it out, or not filter it out, but it'll actually execute. Uh, the commands uh, 
interactively here. Pretty cool. You don't have to press enter or anything like that. And let's say if I wanted to, let's go back. We'll do PSX, PNG, all right. And I want to grab that into, uh, how was that? Zargs, XDG open. And you see at the end, it will actually automatically, uh, you know, open the, uh, the files that we did here. So there you go. That's one is the unsafe one here. And pretty cool program. It's just that, you know, it, right now it's kind of like a tech demo, but, uh, if they ever fix it to be, I don't know, safeguard you from deleting stuff, um, really, it would probably be really good for like beginners where they want to see the results in real time. And I, I probably even use it for real time because uh, some of these times um, when I'm using grep, it's like uh, kind of annoying have to execute the commands over and over and over again just to see uh, if the results you want is right there or not. So I can see this one being really useful uh, if they ever improve it. But right now, it's still pretty cool that they have this idea down, right? Anyways, check it out. Ultimate Plumber, aka just call up. Um, check it out.